Let's talk about perspective. For those of you who are behind the camera, do you know what your dominant eye is? For the most part, you do. How many people write with one hand or the other? I write with my right hand. That makes me right hand dominant. If I write with my left hand, I am left hand dominant. How many people know what their dominant eye is? As a camera operator, you put your dominant eye up to the camera. All right, so if you don't know what your dominant eye is, let's try an experiment. Put your hands out, arm's length in front of you. Make a little V or a little egg. Pick a point, maybe my head, light shining on it. You can see that. And then slowly pull that V back until it covers one of your eyes without losing focus. Whatever eye it comes to is your dominant eye. You, sir, need to find your dominant eye. <clears throat> But what happens is, something amazing happened to me this summer. Anyone here have children? Anyone here ever a child? All right. All right. So do you remember when you were little kids, you would pick up a stick or a pen or something, go around shooting laser beams and aliens? And you were like, if you were a righty, you would go like this and shoot. And if you were a lefty, you'd go like this and shoot. Well, sometimes you don't know what to do, because you're right with one hand, but your dominant eye is the other side. Anyone ever notice when they were laying down and you're looking when you're a little kid, you put your head in the pillow and you blink and things shift? Do you think that happens in life, in our business? We look at things through our dominant eye, our non-dominant eye, and we think that's the way it is? It happens. We look at things thinking we're looking at it the right way. And then we come to realize that I'm right-handed, but my left eye is my dominant eye. And if I try to take a bow and arrow at camp, or a BB gun, or a pitcher through a camera, and I don't use my correct eye, is my pitcher off ever so slightly? Do you think that's possible that we look at our business a little bit off, a little bit off with our perspective? When I came up here with this eight-foot balloon windbag, you looked at it and said, there's no way he can blow this up before this evening's over. But then you realized there was a way based on your perspective.